Hey guys, welcome back to our Explore First Light series. I'm Tyler, Explore Scientific CSR rep. Today we're gonna to talk about the N130 EQ3 mod box. In this box you'll come with eyepiece, red dot finder, and so on and so forth. We'll be able to explore the moon, galaxies, and some nebulae. As we're gonna open the box here. First thing you're gonna see when you open the box are three main boxes. You'll have your OTA, tripod, head mount. First, we're gonna look at is the set of instructions on how to actually put the mount together. And we're gonna have a registration along with it, front and back, so you'll have those two. Now we're gonna actually look at the OTA in this box, come on. And in the OTA box, it will have the optical tube assembly and some other accessories inside. So we're just gonna pick this up. We're gonna put it off to the side and get the tripod out next. The next box we're gonna open is this here brown box. Now what's in this box should be eyepiece, accessory, either a smartphone adapter, red dot finder, and the head mount. So please be careful. This part is a little heavy. And what you will get with this one, let's try and undo it. Come on. We have our smartphone adapter. Cradle for the diagonal. The eyepiece. Red dot finder and just basic instructions on what comes with it. That's this one. And then underneath the foam will be our slow motion control knobs. EQ3 mount, counterweight bar. Now with the Newtonian, we're gonna unbox it and this is what you're gonna get with this. Now you'll have one, two foam pieces. One's not gonna have anything in it. This one will have stuff in it, so please be mindful. There are breakables, and don't cut yourself when you unwrap it. So bear with me, it's gonna take a minute to unbox. Remember, breakables in here, so we have to be mindful. We'll go ahead and just unwrap it. Now all our telescopes will come tissue wrapped. Every single one of them. From Explore Scientific all the way to Explore First Light. So don't freak out when you notice that something is wrong. It's just tissue paper for storage and for transportability. So you literally just undo the rings just simple little tape along the whole optical tube. We'll lift it out of its cradle. Throw that away. Yeet. Close it. We're gonna tighten it back down. Now these on the rings, they do not have to be, they just gotta be snug. They don't have to be extremely tight to make sure that you have a good secure fit. So now we're gonna show you what comes within the foam. You'll have one counterweight. Make sure there's nothing else. And that is all. All right guys, so I'm gonna give a brief description of what's gonna come into your box on your EQ3 N130. You'll get your Explore First Light OTA or optical tube assembly of the 130 Newtonian, your eyepiece, your slow motion control knobs for the tripod and mount, your red dot finder, your smartphone adapter, your counterweight for your mount, your M42 T-ring adapter for a camera, counterweight shaft, accessory tray for the mount, the head of the mount for the EQ3, and the tripods. 
Now this is everything within this box. And if things are missing, don't hesitate to call us at 866-252-3811 and ask for either myself or any other CSR rep here at Explore Scientific to get you a parts request and get you taken care of so you can get out and observing the sky. Now right now we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the mount. I wanna clear off some space so I can have plenty of room to work with and we'll get going. So I'm gonna move the OTA and the eyepiece. I'm gonna move my slow motion control knobs the uh, smartphone adapter, the Canon or the Nikon ring, spreader, head mount, and here we go. Now, there is a screw underneath the actual mount that has for tension to secure the head mount to the tripod along with a tension collar for the mount. Now with an EQ3 mount, I always recommend you put the counterweight shaft over a leg for stability and support. So we're gonna give this a good couple quick turns here. And once it gets nice and good and snug to where I'm happy, we'll stop so we know that this thing will be nice and secure. And that's secure, we're gonna go ahead and twist our tension collar. Make sure that's nice and secure so we have a stable platform. Don't forget to add the accessory tray as well to keep your legs nice and sturdy. Now we're not gonna extend the legs, so it's easy for you to see on how to assemble. Next, we're gonna install the counterweight shaft to the mount. Now it's easy, just thread on. Now it does not have to be super hooked on tight, but it's just gotta be secured enough so you'll be good to go. Next, we're gonna take away, this is called the toe saver. It saves your feet from ever getting possibly smashed if a counterweight slips off and hurts your toe. So that's, it comes with two washers and a bolt. We're gonna go ahead and unthread the counterweight. And there is a collar in here that has a pin in it that likes to be finicky. So you kind of have to tilt the counterweight up a little bit to get it onto the shaft. We'll give it a nice little tighten. Put the toe saver back on. And now we're ready to install the optical tube assembly here in the dovetail. But first, we need to put on our slow motion control knobs. And those are gonna go, the smaller one will go on your deck here. And it will there we go. Now this is, you can switch them up however you like it, the short up top, long on bottom, it doesn't matter which way or which orientation you wanna go. In the same way with the RA, it has one here for you, but you can use the small knob or the long knob, whichever you wanna do to help you in your observing views. So now, technically my mount is put together. We have the counterweight shaft, in the counterweight on the mount. The mount secured to the actual tripod themselves. I have my tray accessory to lock in the legs so they don't spread up. Then we have our knobs down here at the very bottom of our counter or our tripod so we can extend once we get this on the ground. But first, next we're gonna do is our latitude. latitude. We have to get the correct latitude so we know where to find Polaris. And with this particular mount, you have to polar align it or at least point it in the north direction with your correct latitude. And ours here, where we're located, is at 36 degrees. Once, there it goes, I get there. I'm gonna give this kind of a rough little where it's at. And we'll just call that good. So I got my latitude set, counterweight. All I need to put on here is my OTA, and I can get to observing here in a little bit. Now we got everything set up as far as our mount, counterweight shaft, and our tripod legs, and we actually extended it so we can get to viewing the night sky. Now one thing you always have to make sure to make, make sure that you do is to loosen up the actual dovetail holder knob. I call it a dovetail holder knob. So we can pick up our OTA. We're gonna slide it into the actual saddle. And now we're gonna secure it 
with that said knob, nice little snug fit. Now we're good to go. We have everything assembled other than the red dot finder and an eyepiece, which I'll get to that here in a minute. Actually, let's just go ahead and assemble it now. So I'm gonna get my eyepiece out. And it comes with a protective, protective sheet and a case for storage. And we're gonna loosen our thumb screws here at the top. Then our collar should point could come out. I'm gonna throw our eyepiece in, tighten the tension collar back up so we have a nice secure eyepiece on both sides so now it will not go anywhere. Now we're gonna attach a red dot finder. Same thing, let me adjust it here so you can see it a little bit on the screen. We're gonna back out the thumb screw, simply slides the light in and tighten it up a little bit. And here we have a dew cover or a optical cover till we protect our mirror. We're ready to go with some visualization. We're ready to do some smartphone adapter with a cell phone. We are ready to actually look at the night sky. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about some troubleshooting aspects. So with this Newtonian and this mount, Let's say we get it out of the box, we can, we can rotate our deck, but nothing's moving. Why isn't anything moving, Tyler? Some things that you have to check are the clutches here. There's one on the deck on this side and the RA is on the opposite end. Now these are a pull out and tighten design, so we have to make sure that they are tight so we have the capability of moving our OTA in the deck axis. Same with the RA axis. We want to make sure, I know you can't see it, but it's the same basic principle. We want to make sure that it is tight so that we can turn our RA axis as well. The next troubleshooting thing is, I can never get my red dot finder to work, Tyler. How can I get it to work? Now with these red dots, there is a little piece of plastic. You may not be able to see it, but it's a pull tab that covers the battery to keep the life and longevity, like longevity of it intact when you receive it. So we'll pull this out. Now, how do we align these red dot finders? Well, that's very simple. You have one thumb screw back here that controls the up and down, and then you have one to the side that goes from left to right. So it's, it's best to either do this during the day. Now, sometimes it can be hard to see the actual red dot, but it helps to do it during the day or at least when a full moon's up. So you will align using the up, down, left, right button to get your red dot focused on a target to where you're at. And then we're gonna check to see if it's in our eyepiece. So what, basically, whatever you see with this, you should see with your main objective tube. So think of it as a rifle scope, rifle. Whatever this is in line, I should see it with this, so I should be good to go. Other than that, guys, we're set up. We're ready to go. We're ready to do some visualization, but if you want to do astrophotography, here's some other couple steps that we can do. And with our smartphone adapter, we have to take out the eyepiece again, and it will fit into the collar. It has a little thumb screw as well. It goes down just like that. And we'll give it a little tighten and we'll throw it back into our little shaft. And now we're ready to do some astrophotography. So you can literally lay your phone in and start taking pictures through your eyepiece. But say you don't like the angle that your phone will be sitting on. So what you can do is loosen up your cradle rings and you can actually rotate your OTA to where you have a more stable platform laying your phone down instead of off to the side. So I hope this guys, I hope this helps you understand on how to set up a mount or at least the EQ3 mount with the N130 with an EQ3. We have the slow motion control knobs attached we went through how to install a counterweight shaft with a counterweight, how to do the tripod and head assembly, and how to put on the 
the smartphone adapter with an eyepiece and a red dot finder. Again, guys, this is Tyler with Explore Scientific. I hope you guys have clear skies and keep looking up.